So I'm reading that reading that you and Hanks are working on are working together on a JFK project. Yes. T- tell me about this. You you were you were you, you mentioned the Southwest earlier. You, you you were born and raised in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth, Texas. Fort basically. Worth. But you true true story. You were at the parade when JFK came to Dallas. I was actually he spent his li- last night on Earth at the Hotel Texas in downtown Fort Worth. The, right. the, they had come from Houston. They got to Carswell Air Force Base around eleven. Mm-hmm. Um, my dad said to my brother, "Hey, get your brother." We were in our pajamas. We had to put, you know, robe on, and we got in the back of my in our, got in the back of my dad's car. We drove down to Roaring Springs Road, and at night we saw the motorcade pass. Mm-hmm. They went down to the down to, to the, the Hotel Texas in downtown Fourth. The next morning, my brother uh, woke my dad up about seven fifteen and said, uh, "You promised you'd take me and Bill to see the president." And my dad looks out the window, it's, it's drizzling, and mm-hmm. he's thinking the idea, I mean, there's going to obviously be thousands of people down in this crowd, the idea of having these two boys. And, but, you know, you know, you know that pro, you promised. Yeah. Oh, you got kids. You promised. You promised, yeah. So uh, he said, get your brother dressed. We drove down to the Hotel Texas. We became part of a crowd of, I think, about 5,000 people there, all waiting for the president to come out. And they, I learned about this later on, but there was a platform. It was actually just a flatbed truck, mm-hmm. you know, a semi-truck with bunting on it. And there was the podium with the presidential seal. Kennedy comes walking out without a hat or a raincoat on. Johnson takes his hat off. Connolly's next to him. Uh, Yarborough, Senator Yarborough and Congressman Jim Wright, they, they take the podium and, and uh, Kennedy's introduced by Johnson. My dad puts me up on his shoulders. I go from having like a, I can't see anything to suddenly like having the best seat in the house. We're probably about 10 deep. I was probably 20 feet away from Kennedy right in front of him and I was, I was kind of amazed. What I remember at eight and a half years old, he was, he was, he was tan. He was a, it was like seeing a movie star. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was very jocular. He was very up. And what was amazing is up behind him, in the, in the, uh, up on the eighth floor, Jackie would have been able to hear the speech as mm-hmm. she was getting ready for the breakfast banquet that the Chamber of Commerce was hosting. Mm-hmm. He gave his speech, and he walked right into the crowd shaking hands. And uh, that, after th- that day, I went back to school, and I remember coming off the recess playground, and I was going to a Catholic school, St. Alice in Fort Worth, and the nuns were crying, and they told us to lay our heads down on the, on the table. And, you know, those old center block, one-story mm-hmm. school, school houses with a central hallway, and we were all dismissed and sent home. And I couldn't really kind of grapple. Uh, I couldn't really uh, um, comprehend what had mm-hmm. happened. I was eight and a half. I just saw him. I thought, that can't be. Well, two years ago, I went down to, I was in Dallas at the Dallas AFI Film Festival. Mm-hmm. I was a guest of Michael Caine, and I went down there, and I realized I was near, I was near, Dealey Plaza. Mm-hmm. Now I'd never gone through the museum that they've had there for 20 years, run by the County Historical Society. So I went to there and I saw a photograph of the speech in Fort Worth and I was amazed at all the detail I could see in the crowd. So the next day I called the curator and I said, told him who I was. He said, you're in Fort Worth. I said, do you have any other archival footage? They found me in an old 16 millimeter newsroom. They found you? Yeah, you see Johnson cuts Jeez. to the crowd. It's like a shot out of Zelig or Forrest Gump and then cuts back to Kennedy. So I started thinking, wait a minute, 2011 will mark the 50th anniversary of Kennedy's inaugural speech. Uh-huh. Ask not what your country can do for you. What you can do for your country. And then, and then in 2013, the 50th anniversary of the assassination, I, and I thought, has anyone ever just told this story without bias, without an agenda, without a conspiracy? It, just tell it as a human interest story. And as I researched it, I found out Vincent Bugliosi was just about to release a book, which is a, unbelievable. It's a cellular analysis called uh, Reclaiming History. I took this to Tom, Tom Hanks' company, Playtone, do these long-form uh, series about American history, John Adams, Band of Brothers, Earth the Moon, and so mm-hmm. Tom said, "This is our next project." So we're working on it for 2013. Oh, wow! Yeah. I'm sorry, I go off on no, that. no, no, no. That's <laughs> a great story. I'm, I'm sold, and, and, I, and I'm ready to see <laughs> good, it. I'm good, ready good. To see yeah, well. it. Did you uh, silly, silly, qu- <clears throat> silly question? Did you recognize yourself on the field the minute you saw yourself as an eight-year-old? Well, I'll tell you just real quickly. I got I, the guy said to me, he said, "I'll look." He sounded kind of skeptical. He said, "By the way, would you be willing to come down? We, we've been collecting these video videographies of people who just from what you remember as a kid being there, and they'd done Peter Jennings and all these." And I was like, "Well, I'm not trying to glom on to this event. I just, right. but I'd be honored to come down and talk to you." He said, "I'll see what I can find." I get down there in the afternoon. The other guy's gone home, and the guy who's going to do the interview, he's got a 
he's got a manila envelope. So we pulled a couple of images off a 60 millimeter newsreel. It's a kid in the crowd. We don't know right. it's you, but would you mind not uh, opening the envelope till we're, we're rolling the video? I said, well, that's fine. So I pulled it open. I, I couldn't wait to open this thing. So I, I just had, I had this feeling they were going to find me even right. before I called. It just is a weird thing. I just, you know, like a like my character in Big Love, you yeah. know, he has these kind of, you know, <laughs> affirmations or, or uh, you know, epiphanies or, yeah. you know, revelations. Mm -hmm. I had a revelation that I was going to find some, some weird artifact, which is a very strange thing to find 45 years later. And I pulled out the first image and I said, that's my brother Bob. And then I looked at the second image and I realized, no, that's not that. That that's me. It was my brother wore glasses, yeah. and I realized, God, that that's me. You know, this tow-headed kid. On, and it's so funny because you see the crowd, and you just see this kid on top of the crowd. So your eye goes. Okay. So they took me downstairs and showed me the newsreel footage, and you see, can't you see them all come across the street, take the podium, and a strange, there's a black umbrella kind of behind Kennedy in that footage. It's you know now you can read all kinds of things into that, but right. uh, here is a man at the at the peak of his life and his career as, as the president of the United States, little does he know that in three hours he will be murdered in cold blood in, in front of a lot of witnesses. That's amazing. Great story. So 2011. 2011. 2011. 2011. The, the yeah, the film. 2011. 2013. 13, 2013. Yeah, isn't that crazy to yeah. talk? But these are the, when you take on these projects Takes like away. Titanic, yeah. I've known Jim Cameron for years, you have to really kind of think of it in terms of, okay, where are we going to be in two years? Where are we going to be in three years? Okay, mm -hmm. when we finish this thing in six years, it's kind of hard to think in those yeah. terms. But as a filmmaker, you have to with big projects. Well, between, between now and 2013, we'll just have to watch <laughs> Big Love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta yeah, watch Big Love. Yeah, yeah. Well, that'll, that'll be fine. That'll is, is, be that, fine. is that okay with you? Yeah, that'd be okay with me. Nice to see you. A pleasure. Honored to have you yeah, on. Yeah, thanks so Bill much. Bill Paxton, yeah. Big Love, as if you didn't already know.